The story's first chapter is one of the most important pieces of your story. And it provides the foundation for a solid plot to come. And is your first and only chance to strike your reader's curiosity and suck them in. But on the other hand, it's also one of the most challenging parts of any story. There's so much that needs to be set up in the first chapter. So luckily, there's a checklist. Be sure and give this video a big thumbs up. If you enjoyed it and you like seeing these writing videos, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button so you will never miss any more videos on my channel. And be sure and turn on that bell icon so that way you get notif that way you'll get notified when a new video is uploaded. Without further ado, let's get on with this checklist. Like every of the following chapters, the first one must fulfill the usual chapter requirements, which is where you're introducing you're introducing the scene. You're introducing the character's current orientation within the setting. And you're introducing the character's personal goals for this particular episode within the larger larger story within a larger story. They don't just have to introduce not only themselves, but the entire story as well. So here's the checklist. One, you need your opening line hook. This starts with a first line that needs to be brilliant. I mean, it hooks the readers all by itself by presenting something and so interesting, curious, and shocking I mean, that the readers cannot turn away. I mean, it needs, it needs to be an example of your best writing because the readers want to look at that first line and know that they're going to be in good and capable hands when they read on further into the story. Number two, you need your opening situation. The most challenging aspects of your first chapter is brainstorming an opening situation for your characters that will allow you the opportunity to introduce all the other important elements in the later chapters. This, you need to make sure it introduces the scene's main character, which is your protagonist, as a fascinating person. There are two keys into choosing an opening situation where it's the characteristic moment of that that will hook your readers. The first one is the character needs to want something that's being blocked, which will create its own inherent, inherent sense of forward motion in action. And number two, it needs to be an element of the unexpected or off kilter, which strikes your reader's curiosity by getting them to ask an implicit or explicit question. Number three of the checklist is you need a scene disaster, which is where you're setting up the main conflict. The opening chapter should present what will set up the main conflict and lead the character to their meeting with the call call to adventure this is done through the scene's ending disaster where the character wants something in that scene which is their goal which is meant met by an obstacle known as the conflict which at least complicates their initial goal which leads them, which is leading to further consequences that they must deal with in the disaster. And the opening chapter carries the larger responsibility of setting up the whole book. Number four, you need the tonal hook, which in this case, it is one of the most overlooked opportunities 
for a hook in the first chapter, which is the story's tone. It is the voice and the vibe that creates the book's personality. Its personality is a subtle foreshadowing trick that primes the readers for what to expect. This is the it factor, which signals the readers that you are a writer who is confidently in control of the reading experience. This is an, an appropriately interesting tone, which can act as a hook all on its own. I mean, for example, which would you rather read? A. It's a truth universally acknowledges that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. Or B. All women want to marry rich men. I mean, the trick is to know exactly what your story's personality will be and to convey it with precision. In conclusion, if you can mark all four of these important hooks off your chap first chapter checklist, then you'll have accomplished the first of your story's most important jobs convincing the readers to keep on reading. So that is what you want to do. You want to you want to hook the readers into the story right there at the beginning and make them want to keep reading because they want to know what happens. I mean, they're not going to want to put the book down. That's what you want. If you can get them to do that where they don't want to put the book down, you know that you first that you have nailed the checklist, the ultimate checklist of your first chapter. I hope that you find this video helpful, especially for those who are just interested in writing and they want to make sure that their first chapter is perfect and magnificent. Um, again, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you want to see more of these kinds of videos in the future. And again, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button so you won't miss any more writing related videos here on my channel. I will see you guys in my next video. Have a blessed day and happy writing. Bye.